Let's walk through using the Argyle Revit exporter. So uh, start by going to argyle.build slash download in order to download the latest and install it. Uh, right here, the Revit installer is recommended. That'll get you this zip file with the installer itself. That's the .exe, some instructions. And then this is specifically for iOS first time setup. Um, then make sure you run that while Revit is closed. And when you open that back up, you'll be able to sign in under the new Argyle tab and then set up a dedicated view for exporting to Argyle. First thing you want to do is turn on the section box and cinch that right up to the edges of the building. Uh, in most cases, we can just fit the whole building in there. And then we can check in with the visibility graphics overrides. So. Uh, I have all of the model categories turned on here. Uh, you may want to turn off things like um, furniture or entourage if you have a really large project. And then all of the annotation categories except grids, levels, and section boxes. Those are really important for this being really usable in Argyle. Then analytical and imported categories, let's turn those off. Um, but then links, links are actually handled really well in Argyle, so go ahead and have those turned on. Uh, once that's ready to go, you just go to Upload Model and make sure you've selected the correct project and view. Go Export. That'll take a little bit longer, even uh, 20 minutes with really large projects. Uh, and then hit Upload, and now it's in the cloud ready to use an Argyle.